Yeah, it's just one more thing. It's not like we didn't have anything else to deal with. Jason Meade is angry. He lost his four-year-old son, Finn, suddenly last July. He had an undiagnosed uh, cardiac condition. He basically had a heart attack, and he just died suddenly at his friend's house in the middle of the day. Jason's co-workers banded together and raised almost $1,000 for the family, the bulk of which, $800, was split between these two vanilla brand Visa gift cards, which Jason set aside to pay for Finn's gravestone. But a few months later, when he went to use the cards, the money was gone. I'm not really sure how they pulled off um, stealing the balance while it's still in the original uh, packaging. Have somebody tell me that somebody ripped me off for 800 bucks that I was gonna use to pay for my son's gravestone. Uh, wasn't too happy about that. For the full amount. For the full amount, the gift card is completely emptied. The yes, same thing happened to Julie May, who runs a nonprofit in Winthrop and bought a $500 vanilla gift card to help a family who found themselves homeless. And one of our board members delivered it on Monday, June 20th. The person went to go use it on June 21st, and it was completely emptied. And then there is Jean Manthorne's story. My nephew still has the gift card in his hands. He didn't lose the gift card. The gift card wasn't stolen. But she says 500 bucks was stolen from her nephew's wedding gift, this $600 American Express prepaid gift card, which on first glance would seem to differentiate her card from Jason's and Julie's vanilla Visa gift cards, until we dug deeper. All three of these cards are distributed by the same company, Income Financial Services, a little known operation, but a big gift card player. He said the gift card was the same as cash and there was nothing they could do. Jean says she was told tough luck when she asked for the money back. Julie and Jason were told a decision would take months, but not willing to let it drop. Jason filed the formal dispute with income, emailing documents and waiting the 90 days they told him it would take. But he heard nothing. When I sent them an email, it bounced back and it said the email box is full. Their stories raise a lot of questions about the security of these prepaid gift cards, especially since when they're in the original packaging, the full numbers and security codes are hidden. Gene Manthorne's money was stolen through several transactions on Amazon. Even amounts, 100, 150, 250. I wondered whether they were using the gift card to purchase more gift cards. And I told everybody too, everybody I know, do never buy a gift card. Income has hundreds of complaints at the Better Business Bureau, many similar to these. After we intervened, the company immediately sent all three either new gift cards or a check to cover their losses. They all say they're finished using prepaid gift cards. If this was money and I had it in an envelope in my house, nothing bad would happen to it. Makes me question the whole gift card industry, to be honest with you. Now, a spokesperson for income would not answer our questions about how this fraud happens, but says the company takes it seriously and thoroughly reviewed these cases to reduce the potential for future occurrences. We also reached out to American Express and Visa, but they didn't have anything to add. If you've got a consumer story for me, you can email me. The address is ben at wcvb.com. Jessica.